Hello guys, Namaste and Anning Asir Yerubun, Asar Gosu Sawaya Na Samsi Anuncha And in this video, I will tell you about What are the documents required to extend your D2 visa? So as you know guys, our visa is only for one year D2 visa and we have to extend our visa per year, per year, per year so in this video i am going to tell you the document required to extend your visa d2 visa especially student visa so uh, when i try to extend my visa before to expire my visa date i was unable to get the, a lot of i was unable to get a lot of information about this topic so due to that cause i am here for you so without any delay, let's start this video. So uh, let me tell you. So you can extend your visa by online, and you can go to the immigration office to carry your document with you. So let me show you the document required. So first of all. You have to extend your visa before expire your date and you have to take or you have to take a appointment date if you want to go physically by you and if you want to extend your visa through the help of your university you do not require any appointment date because your university will extend your visa so uh, I want to prefer you guys you have to extend your visa yourself because it's not take a time to extend your visa uh, you can extend your visa when you directly go to the immigration office at that time it's take only five minutes so let me search and as you see on the screen so as you can see the document and the required document to exchange your beta so let me tell you first of all you need to visa application form from your university or you can get that form in the immigration office and the original alien registration card your ARC card and the copy of passport copy of enrollment certificate you will get this certificate from your university First of all, go to the university and request for this enrollment certificate and then transcript certificate also and register for tuition fee payment, payment of tuition fee. And before to extend your visa, must be think about this tuition fee payment. You have to get your tuition fee payment. Uh, if you are running your uh, third semester and you are on, you want to extend your visa for third semester you have a tuition payment receipt for the third semester okay and the seventh one is certificate of balance of more than 90 lakh korean one and you can show your bank balance by the korean bank and you can show your bank balance in your bank account in korea by yourself or through the help of your parents to send to deposit the money from your home country and i want to prefer to you you can deposit the money in korea by yourself to borrowing the money from your friends and relatives and the third one is document providing the place of status it means that where you are living uh, the contract home contract the living contract okay month rent lease contract dormitory or where you are living the commission cash is 60000 korean won it required so these are the simple document to extend your visa and the family relation certificate three month of bank transaction record and uh, it's not compulsory uh, to show the statement bank statement of three months but uh, it is good for you to carry the statement of three month bank transaction record with you 
and not required family relation certificate so just these are the document to these are the document required when you are going to extend your visa and don't forget to take the appointment reservation for your visa application so you can extend your visa you can extend your visa where you are living near of your university or where you are living in the particular area for example you are living in seoul and you can extend your visa around the seoul in the seoul immigration office and the university where your university is present the university is for example as i extend my visa in chongju immigration office my university is in chongju that's why i can able to extend my visa in chongju and if uh, I live in Seoul, my living address is, is in Seoul, then I can extend my visa in Seoul. But I did mistake. Uh, but I did mistake. Yes, I am living in Seoul right now. So the, I went to the Koyang Yangju Yangju Immigration Office, which is not under the. Seoul immigration office under my address and I was rejected to extend my visa because I was why I was unable to extend my visa due to the that living issue. So you can extend your visa where you are living. I gave you the example like that. So these are the simple document and not to worry about anything when you are going to extend your visa it is good for you if you go directly to the immigration office you can extend your visa within five minutes carry this all the document and go to the immigration office so this is the only one informative video for you and hope this video is very informative for you guys and okay that's it and let me close this video with a sweet love and bye bye have a good day join Nepal